please forgive the horrific haircut, um, like probably greasy as hell hair. Just forgive everything, mainly because I've been doing a lot with my Zany OS configuration. It is two o'clock in the freaking morning. Uh, I should go get a shower and get ready because I've got to go to work here before too long, but I've been a little under the weather lately, and I feel like if I don't record this now, I will probably never get this video out. So let's go ahead and show you kind of what's been up, not kind of, exactly what's been updated since the last time I made a video. Let me switch over to the proper scene here, and you can see I've got my video my last video up of you know how to install my nix os flake a few things have changed uh, for one the readme has completely been updated it's way better now also this stable branch no longer exists so this section here i did pin a comment talking about it the stable branch is now gone for my configuration this is not a bad thing trust me i explain it over on my actual oh this is my website's you know, re, uh, repo. I'll get to that here in a minute, but you can see I've updated it. It, I've, I kind of explain a lot of things that I get asked a lot, like, you know, how to install packages. I explain that here and I kind of talk about some other stuff that you might want to know about the flake. And then I also cover the stable branches gone. So I talk about it here, but I will put up a big, it, trust me, it's a massive header. You will know the repo and flake is in maintenance mode. I will also put out an announcement on Discord when the flake enters and exits maintenance mode. Maintenance mode just means I am pushing commits that are potentially breaking the flake that like I, ha I haven't tested and know are going to work or others I've had test and know it's going to work. So during that time period you probably do not want to update the flake and you probably also do not want to just pull the flake and try it if that is at the top of the readme it'll be above the zany os part it will say zany os is in maintenance mode and it'll describe you probably don't want to pull the repo all that kind of stuff so uh, but those are always temporary and shouldn't last my goal is to make sure they never last longer than a couple of hours at most but, um, you know, crap happens. So, but anyway, also I have added install script, so it's getting better and better as time goes on. I'm about to go through and add a whole bunch more options to it. So you can do more with your configuration, uh, out of the gate, just by the install install script alone. Right now it's very basic. It really only covers the absolute things that you must change to have a working config and you know some added extras to make sure it's more configured to your setup so that's pretty much it for the changes on here i also am going to be doing uh, a massive change to the way the wiki is so the wiki you go to it right here it's part of gitlab i don't really like the way this wiki management is set up and I mean it looks fine it's it's good it's not bad but it's not great either so my goal is to move it over to my website my website will eventually be where I have the wiki as my the theme that I use for my website has some phenomenal docs and it's actually built out to kind of do this kind of thing it's it really is definitely easy to host a wiki over on my website. So I'm definitely going to do that. It will obviously look better. I also have written a new blog post. I'm going to be doing more of these as time goes on. Uh, it's just, I'm very, very, very busy. So uh, I have work. And on top of that, I have to, you know, support a lot of the community. I don't really have to, but I take it as a personal obligation to, help people get into Nix and make sure that my flake is a good option for everybody and provide support to those who aren't even interested in my flake, uh, just interested in Nix OS. I, I do think that's a good thing to do. So 
yeah, I, I will be writing more of these as long as I get the time, you know, to do it. But I covered quite a bit in this little post here and hopefully it won't be too much longer before I did that. I also updated a lot of the pictures to be AVIF format. So they're much more compressed. So the website should load faster and yeah, uh, overall the website should just be much better. And I've, that's what I've been working on. Uh, I also have added something that you guys probably want to know about is you might notice I changed the like network speed module here. I don't really like having it since we already have the network, you know, manager applet being started and everything. So I replaced it with something way more useful. If you click here, you'll get all of the Hyperland key bindings that you're using. Now, right now, the way it's set up is it, and I also mentioned this inside of this blog post here. I've got a little, uh, easy to understand keybinds. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> there is now a module in the way bar for displaying all the key bindings in Zane US. If you change them, the changes are not reflected. So right now, the changes you make are not reflected. Eventually, I hope I can get that changed. I should be able to. Uh, that's just going to require doing much more with this script and this little GUI tool here than I'm currently doing. But uh, given that I have time for it, I don't see why I could. Now, this is kind of the most important part of this video. I am at towards the end going to take a second to thank all of my fantastic Patreon supporters uh, who go above and beyond to financially support what I do here. There's also the fantastic channel members, which you'll see in live streams or anything that I do. Uh, you know, they'll have a little channel thing next to their name tag or name tag username. I don't know what I'm saying. It's two o'clock in the morning. Okay. But anyway, this is the second time of me recording this because I'm trying to get this just right, but I'm trying to make the push towards making this full time or considering maybe pulling back some of my time from doing this to pursue, you know, a, a higher paying career. I would much rather do this and produce content like this, produce blog articles and stuff like that, a good documentation resource that people can go to for NixOS and really help out the community and just help people. So what I'm going to do is from now on all the videos that I do, which I'm actually going to try to schedule out three videos a week. That's all I'm going to do video wise. There's going to be three videos a week and I will schedule them out. And I don't know if I'll schedule them a day, two days before a week before or whatever, but when I do, they'll be available to channel members. So if you want to support what I'm doing and help me make this full time and make a career out of this, you can do that. That gets you access to all of my content early. If you like that, I also will be doing, um, over on Patreon, I'm going to be redoing and structuring a lot of my tiers over there for you guys. So there's going to be more added benefits with the tiers and, also there's, they're going to go up higher. Uh, there's, there's, I'm going to kind of increase the pricing on the support tiers. And also one of the things that I am planning on doing, which is going to affect the pricing of different tiers and stuff is I do want to do courses like full, like really long length tutorials and courses on Nix OS kind of in the Vim Joyer style. I'll, throw up a card for like one of his videos. If you haven't seen him, he makes great educational NixOS content. So kind of in that vein where I'm showing code on the screen, examples, doing all of that kind of stuff, but I'd like to do more long form uh, content like that. So for that stuff, some of those tiers are going to include that. I believe I'm going to do everything above $8 a month. We'll get you those courses and those courses will be on Patreon for a 
exclusive amount of time, the like two months, maybe three months. I haven't really decided, but probably three months. I'm more leaning towards three months, but anyway, have it up there exclusive for patrons. And then after that, make it available for everyone. I don't want to completely paywall something, but I do want to give something of real value to everybody who actually really wants to go over and above and make everything I do for the Nix OS community possible. And I definitely want to do more. I think I'm not doing nearly enough and I could do a lot more stuff that's beneficial. So another thing that I actually plan to do for the channel and everything is here before too long, I'm going to start streaming. I'm going to come up with a schedule. I most likely, as long as over the next couple of bit, I continue to pull in a little bit more Patreon money, I'll, I'll be able to schedule out some uh, actual dedicated schedule of you know three or four days a week where I stream a set amount at a set amount or a set time and I'll do that because I do want to live stream a lot of the development on Zany OS and the scripting and building out other stuff in Nix for it and just for general tooling and making life easier so I think that would be interesting for you guys on top of you know, everything else that I'm doing. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And please don't forget to do all the normal YouTube stuff before you head on out. So these are the fantastic Patreon supporters. I want to thank before I go, Nicholas, Zuski, Michael, Grizzlyware, Donald, or D-Dubs, Four, Dark Zero, uh, Steve, Russell, Nate Pick, Nate, Forlorn Idealist, Zach, TGB, Russell, Papa Smurf, and Matt. I almost said Matthew, but it's Matt from the Linux cast. And thank all of you guys for your support. It means a lot. So hopefully I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.